Now, I use this technique with my clients and my own training. I've used it for some time and I find it really helps because um, you can change the target uh, incrementally, um, bit by bit, making it harder or making it easier and depending on the skill. Most skills you're working towards, you can use this technique. So today I'm going to take you through the ones that I use the most. So the different skills and drills that I use the most using this target um, technique. Um, but you could uh, basically use it for everything. You've just got to think of a way of um, reaching to a thing um, and then trying to incrementally make it harder and harder and harder or back it off depending on um, where you're going with the movement. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you how I use it. So for the strength skills, um, here I'm demonstrating a handstand push-up. So I'm gonna just do a handstand push-up to a target. Initially, you can make this easier. So you're just limiting the range of motion. I'm just gonna kiss the target and come back up. And if I do that successfully, I reduce the height of the target. Now, so you can do it um, to start with and make the actual movement easier. Um, and then once you have the skill, you can then make it harder. So now I'm doing it on a uh, deficit. So I'm up on the box and I'm gonna go past my normal handstand push-up position and then try and reach the target below. And then obviously I could keep then um, making that harder and harder and moving it away. Same thing with press handstand. So we can reduce the range of motion. We can hit the target, we can come back up. Um, and then I can reduce it, get to a full press and then even work towards the stall. This is what I've been using for a long time. Really good. It's good to use yoga blocks. You knock the yoga blocks off sit, uh, over, see if you can come back up. So flexibility, uh, standing forward fold into in a straddle position, um, slowly making it deeper and further away. You can then, instead of using the forehead, now I'm trying to get the chin to the block and back up again. Same thing in a seated straddle. So pushing the block away, reaching for it, coming back up. Good one with this one is not to touch the floor. So you can only can touch the block, you can't push out in front. Uh, forward fold, same thing, making it easier to start with, less than the, like the standing position, and then go into a deficit, trying to go past my normal position and try and reach for that target and touch, and then slowly make it deeper and deeper. Uh, back bends, so going into an arch to box, touch in, I'm terrible at this one, kiss, come back up again, slightly reduce that height, Up th same thing upside down, so into a Mexican or hollow back handstand, touching a target, and then slowly reducing the height. Uh, side flagging, so block, uh, box, um, and then much lower onto the step. Now obviously you have to be a little bit careful with the technique and the quality of the work, so you have to set a goal in terms of uh, the standard that you're looking for and then slowly redu reduce the height and think of different ways of doing it. And also try and have things around you, so I use the handstand blocks or yoga blocks a lot, um, or Aspen, we've got the mats. Um, and they're very um, small increments I can go in, so that's really useful, especially if you're your bottom, bottoming out your end range um, on whatever you're working for. So it can, it can be used for your strength goals, your uh, flexibility goals, um, and basically any, anything you're going towards, you could probably use this technique. Um, it's really good if you're coaching, you can measure the distance, um, and then you can see someone's progress over time. So normal deal, thumbs up and subscribe would be appreciated, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.